Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Central Oregon Shanians. Today we're going to be working on the step side. I, I need this corner back. So today we're going to be, um, I, I got to weld something on this in, engine exhaust real quick. And then I don't have the front engine parts yet. I know you guys have been emailing me and, and you have parts. Just I, I have to, <laughs> I have to go through there and, and figure out what I need. And, and thank you. I have not, I'm not ignoring you. I, 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 I know you guys are there, so... Anyway, Kyle's pulled the trigger, and he's got these parts coming. They'll be here this week, maybe beginning of next week. But we're going to get this put into the engine bay and get it mocked up in there so I can figure out what I want to do for a transmission cross brace and engine towers. And i got to clean this mess up. I need the cherry picker for uh, some shenanigans going on with one of my truck mounts and one of my work trucks. So anyway, today we're working on the step side. And with that being said, this is one of the nicest days this this year so far. It is 60 degrees outside, and I've got the bays open. I kicked out the carpet cleaning van vans. And it's just it's just a beautiful day. We do have a storm coming. You can see over the mountains, the mountains out from my property are that direction, and you can see that it's I feel wind and something's coming. But I'm gonna get this all cleaned up, and I'll bring you back in here in a minute. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and lift this sucker up and slide her on in, hopefully, without any shenanigans happening. <laughs> uh, what a day. I'm tired. So, basically, we're going to put this in, guys, and then we're pulling it back out after I mock everything up. Because I need to finish up putting the new timing chain cover timing chain and all the front goodies on this engine I'd like to kind of pressure wash it off and I'd like to I got to do some stuff in the engine bay too all right we can float and We gotta get it over that cross brace in the front. So we're gonna have to go really high. Anyway, yeah, like I said, we're just gonna mock this up basically in the next week. Pull it back out. It's gonna be my kid's truck, so it's like, how much do I really, really want to make it pretty? Because you know they're going to go take it down some dirt roads. You still want to be able to use it as a truck, right? It's like, where do you draw the line of how pretty do you want to make everything? Or just, you know, mechanically make it sound. Give it a good paint job. An interior. I got my Bronco to do. All right. I think we'll clear. Yeah, we'll clear. hates cherry pickers <sighs> tires on these things just never cooperate
Oh boy. I see a problem already with the exhaust being on. All right, we're going to come back to this, guys. I'm going to I'm going to go off camera. And I'm going to get the Y pipe off. I think the Y pipe and the cap's going to have to come off. And I screwed it up anyway. I made the cut in the wrong spot when I went to go take the exhaust off. So I got to order a new Y pipe anyway. This is a good excuse maybe to go dual exhaust at this point. All right, guys. Now that the exhaust is off, the Y pipe anyway, not the manifolds. I think we're just going to go ahead and slide her on in. Do a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a roo. Little tappy. Maybe not. Transmission is hitting the back of the cab or the front of the cab. Go ahead and let her down. Just a little bit. Alright. Go ahead and let her down a little more. So once I get it down in there, you get the transmission jack and start leveling the engine off. Exactly what I wanted it to do. I just cradled it right in there. I'm going to uh, repick the chain. I'm, I'm crooked, so I'm gonna repick it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause for a minute. Alrighty, guys. So this is a very roughed draft. Note that the engine mounts almost fit, almost. Could not get this one to shoehorn itself in there. But by looking at things, I need to come forward. I, need to, I would like to come forward at least a couple inches. Uh, we've got all this room up here. Because, uh, you know, the radiator, it bolts right there. So I've got a lot to play with, even if we had to run an electric fan. The one thing, uh, I, need, I need your guys' help on the brainstorming on this one. So... I think we need to go lower and 
re I mean, it almost fits on these towers to begin with, but when you get on the transmission side of things, this is, this engine's pretty, it's not level, it's, it's sitting at an angle because now, uh, of the transmission being so large and it, this shifter hits up on the body right here. So I can't, I mean, I can't go up any higher than that with the transmission. If I go up any higher, it, it goes into the floorboard. Uh, so I'm going to have to lower this down at least a couple inches. I mean, I'm going to have to rebuild those towers and they're going to have to go, the whole engine's going to have to drop down. So we're going to have to build new towers to bolt in here. The wind is really starting to pick up outside. I have to shut the shop doors. But yeah, here's a rough draft of it in here. <laughs> very, very rough draft. Now that it's in here, I got an idea. Ugh. I got an idea what we need to do. I said, give this video a big thumbs up. Comments do go down below. Hit that subscribe. And we'll catch you next time, guys. It was uh, fun to actually come home and work on something today. Nice day out. Nice day in the shop. But yeah, drop your comments down below. What, what do you guys think? I think I need to go forward and down on the engine. All right, guys. One last look. You can kind of see the angle there. I don't even think we could close the hood right now with how big. <laughs> I think we need to go down. If we have any bet of getting this fuel injection engine in here, it's going to have to go down. All right, guys. See you next time.